hello out there in YouTube land. Today's video is a short one about a sort of unusual condition which is more alarming than it is actually harmful and that is transient global amnesia. If you're watching this, probably you or somebody that you know has had it or might have had it recently and so I just wanted to go over a, a little explanatory video. So transient global amnesia. Obviously transient means it comes and it's there for a little while and then it goes away. Global amnesia, we're going to talk a little bit about, about what the global means in the context of amnesia and making memories. Um, it's a relatively uncommon disorder and if it affects someone very rarely would they ever have a second attack in their life. It has been reported it is so uncommon that people would write scientific papers about it because if it was fairly ordinary no one would comment on it. So transient global amnesia has a, a kind of an abrupt onset. So the typical story is this. I'm going through life minding my own business, haven't done anything unusual lately, haven't been sick, haven't been bonked on the head, haven't been shot in the brain with a Martian ray beam, nothing. And for no obvious reason, all of a sudden I suffer a collapse of short-term memory. I stop making new memories as we go through time. And in addition, memories that I made before the onset of transient global amnesia are not accessible to me. Now, long-term memory is still accessible. For example, who am I? Um, you know, where was I born? This, this kind of thing. But the more recent weeks or even sometimes months of memory that I was carrying with me when I had the onset of transient global amnesia, that stuff is not accessible to me. In addition, I'm, as we go forward in time, I'm not making new memories. So I say, what's going on? And you say, well, we're here in the doctor's office, we're in the emergency room or urgent care or, or whatever it is. Uh, you've had a problem. And, I, and then about 45 seconds later, I say, what's going on? And then you tell me the same thing. And what's going on? And so one of the hallmarks, it's a, you know, it's a little bit funny, but it's not really funny is that the person who's having transient global amnesia while they're in it tends to be a bit annoying because they keep asking the same thing again and again. I have tried writing down on a card, uh, you are in the emergency room, you have a memory problem, and having the person who's suffering TGA hold it didn't work. They can't remember to read the card. They're a little lost, you know, what's this card doing here? So the onset, so you're going through time, bam, on the, in the, it comes on in, in the course of a minute or so. It doesn't take 10 hours to build up. Okay. It comes on very quickly. Can't access recent memories, not making new memories. And this goes on for hours. This does not go on for five minutes. This does not go on for three weeks. This goes on for typically somewhere in the 10 to 20 hour range. The um, onset is very sharp and abrupt, but the offset is actually more uh, spotty. Typically by the end of 12 to 24 hours, the person's got completely normal memory again. Um, they have no recollection and never will have recollection of the, the uh, period during the transient global amnesia. They will often say, well, you know, it's kind of, yeah, it's a little spotty. There's a little spotty memory, some hazy memories uh, toward, you know, towards the end, what, what was the end uh, of that. And then they, they get back to normal. Very commonly they'll say, well, I woke up the next morning and I was totally fine. The the retrograde amnesia, in other words, the amnesia for stuff that had already happened before the TGA and should have been in memory, uh, will typically improve but not be completely back to, to everything that happened. So 
that it would be like, uh, well, a, a friend of mine had a TGA uh, that I work with, and he took his son to the bus stop in the morning, and about uh, 7 o'clock in the morning or something, 8 o'clock, um, came to work, and in the afternoon had the onset of transient global amnesia. When all was said and done and the thing was over, he said, well, the last thing I remember was taking my son to the bus stop. Now, he had functioned normally from that time to uh, when the TGA hit in the afternoon, but that really recent memory was still just a little, it was too fragile, if you will, uh, for the, the, him to hold on to that or ever regain that. So, so he has a gap that goes from bus stop to the end of TGA, and the gap will never be filled. We don't know what causes it. We don't know what causes it. I will, a little sidebar, there, there, if you do your reading, you'll find out that there is an entity called transient epileptic amnesia, which uh, can mimic repeated episodes of TGA. I have seen at least one case, I think I've seen one case in my entire career, um, and the person had had 10 or 12 attacks uh, this fellow had that, that that when you just listen to it sounded like TGA um, but you don't get 10, 10 or 12 attacks now transient epileptic amnesia is incredibly rare I mean it happens I've seen one and I'm an epilepsy subspecialist I spend much of my day every day at work taking care of patients with epilepsy and various seizure kinds of problems and I've seen I think one or maybe two and I've been doing this for more than three weeks so it's pretty uncommon. Um, the person typically recovers, and there's that gap that they'll never recover, and they go on about their business, and they have no, no brain damage or anything like that. If you do brain waves, e an EEG test during the uh, episode of TGA, typically they look normal. You can do MRI scans, typically they look normal. Uh, we don't know what causes it. Thanks for your attention.